Google Maps took us a good way around, so we're going in to see the wonders of Iceland. Google Maps says walk through the tunnel. I chose the wrong one first. This is the right one, straight on. We're going to walk to the Perlan Museum. When you're through the tunnel, turn left and walk over the bridge. Follow me. You can see how far I've come from the church. Not far and 13 minutes to go. The path brings you out here, right by the museum. We've arrived at the Perlan Museum. Google Maps took us a good way round, so we're going in to see the wonders of Iceland. It's an observatory and from the top you've got a 360 degree view. This section is called the wonders of Iceland. It's a show showing you them in their natural habitat. Yeah. Okay. They're black-legged kittiwakes. So it's a really cool interactive screens. Whatever you touch, they show you. From the top of the glacier, as if you were standing right there, interact with the scenery by pointing to the interface. There's a short film to prepare you for entering the ice caves. It can be slippery in the ice cave, so watch your step. So this is the ice caves. It's cold in here, so make sure you've got your coat. Don't forget to visit the planetarium, where they show you the wonders of the northern light. Oh, oh it's very cold on the bottom. An ice throne. It looks really deep down there, but it's really a mirror. <laughs> the fish that people are tasting is dried haddock and they've got some schnapps to help it down. If you're looking for the microbrewery, look for the kegs. I think that might be a clue. Come out of the ice caves, up the stairs. There are over 400 glaciers in Iceland. Wow. He's a big one, isn't he? We've got one like this in our fish tank. Up to the observation deck. Can you get a 360 degree view of the city and there are signs to tell you what you're looking at. There's the church we walked from and there are the cruise ships over there. This is the side for watching sunsets. There are wonderful aromas as you walk through the gift shop and above it is the cafe restaurant. If you come to this museum, especially with children, it's a great learning place. It explains everything from the history of glaciers to organisms in a really cool and interesting way. Wow. There's the church we walked from, and there are the cruise ships. In the horrible rain and mist, and yet it's, you're just warm and cosy. And I'm heading to the bar, which will make me feel even better.
the fish that people are tasting is dried haddock and they've got some schnapps to help it down. If you're looking for the microbrewery, look for the kegs. I think that might be a clue. The story goes that when Iceland became a Christian country, the head of the country came here and threw his Norse gods over into the waterfall. And that's why the waterfall is called the Waterfall of the Gods.